Hey, how's it going? It's Dan from Snap's Brain Training. And today's video is going to be about running binaural beats and sinking your brain. So what is this? What are these binaural beats, you say? Uh, well, let me explain. So, uh, binaural beats are pretty much one sounds that get played, you know, preferably through two earphones. And uh, one is at a certain rate, a certain frequency, and another is at a different frequency. When these get played through your ears, the resulting sound that uh, gets matched is the one that's in your brain. And uh, your brain will sync up to the frequency that's um, pretty much in the middle of those two frequencies. And that's the frequency that you, you're changing your brain to. So there's, there's lots of different um, you know, frequencies that you can run on. But uh, to be, make it kind of simple, let's just take you know, the alpha and uh, you know, theta <laughs> brain waves, okay? So alpha brain waves and the high alpha brain waves are good for you know the concentration, studying, being productive, uh, accomplishing a lot. They're you know associated with you know that high you know type A personality, the high amount of work that you can get accomplished. And uh, so I want to give you a little example on this and and uh, and kind of jump into this. So there's a smart drug out called Provigil. Um, it was originally marketed at as a competitor Adderall. Something happened in terms of not having the patenting to do that. Now it's, I think it's sold as a sleep, um, what is it, sleep work shift syndrome. Anyways, it was originally marketed to people Adderall. It did, uh, you know, became somewhat successful and then kind of got jumped off the market for those things. So doctors can no longer prescribe it for, you know, attention deficit disorder or ADHD. Anyways, this provigil, uh, one of the reasons why, one of the things that it does, it does many things, but um, I'll give you two that, you know, off the top of my head that I'll tell you that it does. It turns your brain waves to alpha brain waves, all right? Now, how it does this um, is pretty complex, and we're not going to get into that, but it turns your brain waves into alpha brain waves. So pretty much what this drug, one of the things it's doing, it's doing many things, but it's syncing up your brain to play on one level, okay? To play on the alpha level, which is the high alert state. Okay, so you're, you're completely staying on this, um, this high alert field for a, a long time. And uh, also it's doing something else. It's lowering the amount of GABA, um, GABATROL, which uh, is, is uh, kind of associated with good feelings or, um, or happiness. Uh, it's, it's, um, to give you an example, alcohol is um, like alcohol that you drink uh, produces uh, GABATROL in your, or produces GABA in your brain. And with some people, it also produces some uh, dopamine. Okay, so anyways, GABA is, you know, makes you feel good. It's, it's something that kind of makes you a little lazier, a little out of it. Um, you're not too motivated to do things. So, so what uh, Provigil does is it lowers the, the GABA, okay, and it increases the, um, the or it changes the frequencies to um, alpha frequencies. Anyways, um, all right, so increases the frequencies to alpha, fre uh, alpha frequencies and therefore allowing the brain to run at this higher pace. So that's one way of doing it, okay? Taking, taking a prescription drug and uh, running that. And um, just a little warning for people that do do that, you know, they know that drug industry is something that's half-life, it's like 12 hours, it's something ridiculous. So anyways, you're, you're, if you do that, you're, you're on that for a long time. Another way of doing it is just running these binaural beats and running an alpha binaural beat where your brain syncs up to one level. So place one frequency in one ear, the other frequency in the other ear. The resulting frequency is whatever you want. Either you can have the theta, the low one, if you want to play this tape, or switch it to the alpha on this one. So it's just syncing your brain up, getting both of the hemispheres to run on the same frequency. And that's very, very key. A lot of the times there's this cognitive dissonance between running one frequency at something else, another frequency at another, <laughs> another wave, because you know you're do two, um, two different, uh, say, uh, two different brain parts of the brain, halves of the brain, are, uh, you know, independent of each other in some sense. So anyway, you're syncing up the brain to run this higher level, and then um, you're allowed to to get more more done. Now there's different ways to run, uh, different ways to run binaurals, and that's what people aren't so educated on. That's what I, I don't really give out in um, for for free. But there's different ways to to run binaurals to to the point where it becomes more and more effective, and uh, your brain can just stay. You can just stay on these uh, these long these these uh, 
higher frequencies without having to um, you know exert too much effort without having to listen to them too much and it becomes stronger and stronger and it needs to actually strengthen your brain over time the cool thing about running by neurons versus you know taking a drug is let's say you want to you know be in that alpha frequency that really productive uh, frequency for for you know period of you know let's say you just need to get something done 30 minutes an hour cool so you you take that um, take the listen to binaural beats while you're doing the project or before to get into that state and then after you've done the 30 minutes hour of work you, you want to chill out you want to you know relax you can just run a theta one for you know 10 20 minutes and then resync your brain so um, you know this doesn't have to be something where you're just wound up for you know hours and hours and hours and I think it's very uncomfortable for a lot of people to be in this really high type a headspace for a long time and not be able to relax this way it's just like it's a win-win situation and um, you don't have to be you know <laughs> so alert for so long you can kind of just time when you're gonna when you're gonna do this uh, so anyways that's a little bit of an explanation about uh, binaural beats and uh, you know what they <laughs> what they do for the brain. Um, you know I've definitely definitely run them in a lot of different uh, manners and fashions, and that's just one example one example of what they can do. Like there's a whole spectrum of, of the types of binaurals that you can run and, and what you can achieve. And uh, you know some of them can achieve you know different uh, a lot of types of different results. The ones that I focus on are, are purely the ones for, you know, cognitive enhancement and then relaxation too because I, I like to give that option, you know, when someone wants to, to slow down and also burst some creativity and different things. So um, anyways, that's my explanation on binaural beats and um, hope you liked it. Thanks. Until next time.